guys, I've got a couple of updates. I guess first off, I went ahead and got this key switch installed. It's just a two wire switch. I went and ordered a new one. I ordered two actually. The first one didn't come in for five days, and so I ordered a second one. I to cancel the other one, it just never showed up. But this now controls the contactor and all the rest of the systems. So that's right wired in. Um, we're gonna actually mount that up on this new display port that I just got put together here. Put the super capacitor back up, which was previously on the ground. We actually had to take it off to put a center stand in. The center stand needed to go on to be able to put this chain on and uh, spin the wheels. We could move it forward and you know tighten it up and all that stuff. So that needed to come on, so I got that put back up. The big thing I've been working on actually is this little panel, I guess, where the display is gonna go. Um, I've got it so that it mounts on to where the handlebars used to previously mount. The fiberglass is drying now. i got four layers on it. Um, I've got the place here where that display is going to go. The little GPS display, which is right here. And below that we'll have battery temperature, which I have a battery temperature gauge. Um, I have a probe inserted into the battery pack. We'll put that right here. We'll have the volt and amp meter up here as well. And both of those will be powered when the key switch comes on. The display will come on and those two. Um, gauges will also come on. Uh, this is still drying. I mean, it's not a perfect job, but it'll ultimately do the trick. And I'll go ahead and sand it down. Um, we'll just attach that on top of there. It'll be painted black most likely, so it'll kind of blend in with the rest of the components on this triple tree. Um, Injured got some foam for this seat. We'll see how that all puts it together. Uh, I'm not sure where he's got that. I must have. Oh, it's over here. So just some upholstery foam, and then he's also got a piece of vinyl material to go over the top of that. So we'll try upholstering that to go on his, the video that he's gonna put out in a little bit. Um, but I was just mostly focusing on getting the switch hooked up and getting that little display there. Um, I also did put a 12 volt to five volt together, a DC converter. I pulled apart an old uh, Bluetooth transmitter that plugs into a cigarette lighter. And I just desoldered a couple of components. So this input here is 12 volts and then it's gonna output five volts. I did label those on there. You can barely see the Sharpie on there. So this will actually be connected in there at the original DC to DC converter, which will then power the display. So what we'll have is up the, the wire will run up the, the frame here and it'll come out the side and then plug into the GPS unit right there. We're also gonna have the key switch located right here so they'll just turn the key on there, it turns everything on. I still have to hook up the rear brake to regen. One of the things we're gonna do is the rear brake lever here, which is gonna control this drum brake. I'm gonna make it so that it, as it turns on the brake light, it's also gonna activate the regen brake, probably at like a 40% regen, let's say. Fairly aggressive, but not so much. Um, Hope being that when you hit it, it's not gonna skid anything, but it, it does break using the motor, so it actually causes the rear tire to slow down. So it's a perfect place for it, because you control it just like you would control the rear brake here. It's not attached to a potentiometer, so it won't get harder as you push it harder. It's just gonna be on or off. So I'll make it so that it's something that slows you down, but isn't super aggressive. So probably about a 40% regen on that.
All right, just finished all the wiring except for, you know, the headlights and signals and that kind of thing. But the systems are all in place. Uh, everything has been routed the best that it can. I'm gonna start zip tying some stuff down here. But check this out right here. We've got the volt and amp meter that we've had traditionally. We got the display here. Everything's wired up to this key. Battery temperature sensor. GPS unit is ready to be put on. Um, we got the little display mount there that we got finished up here in Japan that up for me before I got here. I just have to wire in the plug to be able to come through here and plug in there and then drill down some holes to mount this to that. Otherwise, display it and the whole console up front is ready to go. And that's actually kind of cool. It's simple, but it's just a kind of an efficient way to have all these little systems here listed on. And it's all controlled by the switch of the key. All I gotta do is start to manage some of this, these wires here. I'm gonna shorten this one down and I'll kind of choose if I'm gonna shorten or just bundle up some of the wires for the other systems. And we'll put the tank on, put the seat together later tonight. And this thing should be sitting in its final form before I head home today. I did forget to mention that I had to make a new 12 volt to five volt converter, the one that I originally had did not put out enough current to support the display screen. So I took the one that came with it, chopped it apart, wired it in, so it was just kind of, you know, not a, nothing was gonna short circuit or hit anything like a car plug would have, so I just replaced the inputs and heat shrinked it shut. It's got the little display light in there still. When you turn the switch off, that turns off too. Gotta still tighten this down. It's gonna sit a little bit at an angle more towards the front. But we're looking good. So I'm gonna move on to the electric go-kart build that I got planned. But I put together a full parts list. Uh, my budget was $2,000. I'm gonna actually take the go-kart as it is and I've actually decided I'm gonna design some custom hubs for it. I'm gonna upsize the tires to 18 inch tires, front and back. So it's basically gonna be kind of looking more like a side-by-side -side to a certain extent. So it's gonna lift it off the ground a little bit higher. It's gonna have a pretty cool stance and we're gonna hook it up with a 77 volt nominal pack. We'll get an 80 amp hour setup on that. Uh, it's going to have a 500 phase amp controller. It's uh, basically another version of this controller here. We're going to gear it lower though, and so it's going to, the weight's a little higher, but the gearing will be lower so that it's going to put out a, a good acceleration up to about 40 miles an hour. It is also using a new motor from Moto Energy. It's the ME1718, which is actually really cool. It's got to 300 amp for two minutes is what it's rated for, but it's about half the size of the 1507. Uh, and it's rated for up to 100 volts. So it's a pretty comparable, but like a smaller version of this motor here, which in this case, the motor is not the thing that's limiting it in any sense. And so the smaller motor will be a good, it's like 25 pounds compared to this 45 pound here. And uh, it'll be a really cool, you haven't seen it in a lot of applications. So I'm excited to put it in this, in the go-kart. And I'm, I'm honestly super excited for the build. So I'm, I'm imagining what that'll look like is I'll put all the day-to-day -day updates on this channel and Inja is probably going to have like a you know start to finish or like major updates going out on his channel but I think it'll be a, a fast conversion you don't have to do a lot of modifications to the frame I just got to cut one little portion to to put the front tires since I'm upsizing those I have to cut out a little bit so that the steering still works otherwise it's going to be pull out all the gas components weld in plates and attachment points for the electric components, throw a battery together, which will be a really cool design. I'm excited to show it to you guys. It's a lithium iron phosphate, but it's with smaller cells. It's with cylindrical. They're 15 amp hours each. And so we're gonna run basically a pack that looks kind of like the Chinese electric sport bike, where it has like five in parallel and then one in series, and we're gonna run it in like a U. It's only 120 cells total, but it'll be simpler to put together than the other one, but it'll still have a potentially a higher output per weight than these cells do down here. Uh, so we'll, it'll be really cool. I'm excited to show you. It'll be a good design. 
and it'll be a fun new project. So stay tuned for all those updates. We'll put a video out soon with the plan for that. Honestly, it's going to have outstanding specs with a relatively reasonable price. I was very price conscious and with that $2,000 uh, budget, we'll get motor controller, we'll get light bars, we'll get horns, we'll get a speaker system. It'll be dope. I'm really excited to put that one together. So stay tuned for that. I will catch you guys later.